thank you, João Pereira, for all your work. Thank you. João well, Pereira, we're here in uh, Kiuruvesi, in the middle of Finland, so uh, quite up north in uh, Europe. What's your impression of Finland and uh, this event so far? Well, uh, first of all, it's a great pleasure to come here to Finland. Since uh, some years I, it's, uh, I'm not coming, but it's really a great pleasure. Uh, coming to Finland is always uh, nice because we are in the middle of nature. Everywhere we go is nature, nature and nature. And with uh, the friendliness of the, the Finnish people, uh, it's always really a great time to come here to Finland. But you're uh, personally, you're, you're from Portugal where the weather is basically always nice. So how do you like the chilly Finnish uh, weather and the sunlight in the night? Well, again, it's a great uh, experience because, yes, it's true, the south of Europe, uh, sometimes we have more sunshine than the north part of Finland or the Europe. But uh, the truth is that uh, every country has their own beauties. And here in Finland, uh, we also have good weather and sometimes a little bit more chilly. But in the summertime, it's also a great time to come to Finland and enjoy this uh, Finnish weather, which is also quite nice. You received an... Uh Acknowledgement uh, for your work from uh, SF Caravan. Uh, your your thoughts on that? Well, uh, for me, it was a very big surprise. I was uh, really surprised with this. And uh, okay, it's true uh, that, like I said, it's not just uh, an award for me. It's an award for the team, and especially all the the campers in the camping clubs. They are together in the FICC and uh, also doing all this promotion of uh, good quality camping in open air tourism and in the nature. So I think it's a good award to award everybody that is doing such a good job. As for the FICC then, uh, the federation was established in 1933. So it's been about, uh, it's been almost a hundred years since then. Uh, it's a big question, but how has camping and caravanning changed during that time? Okay, that is a big true. It's uh, almost 100 years old and uh, in the beginning was more just gathering uh, campers with the restrictions of traveling from one country to the other. But with time, uh, that uh, kind of restrictions, uh, they go down and now it's more free, th free to travel around. But the, the challenge of camping also ch uh, changed a lot. So now, in our days, is really create influence in the governments to show that campers, when they are traveling, first of all, they are, let's say, less uh, uh, carbon footprint because they are doing uh, more in nature and also uh, they also protect the nature. So camping is one of the best uh, tourism activities to protect the nature. Second, the campers, they know that they love the nature, so they also going to protect by themselves. And then it's, they also, when they're traveling, they also uh, put uh, money in the local economy. So in a certain way, uh, doing camping is not just for uh, older people or younger people, it's for everybody, from families to uh, uh, single persons, and also children and everybody, even with uh, persons not so in good health. So it's good for everybody. It's really a great adventure. And if someone didn't never try camping, I think they should try because I think they will become a camper. The world around us is, uh, is uh, constantly evolving. Are camping clubs and uh, federations uh, still relevant to regular camping people? Well, in our days, more people want to be more, let's say, free. Uh, that means not uh, involved in camping clubs. But there is a new generation, especially after the pandemic, that they discover uh, our hobby and also our tourism in the nature. So now more and more persons and families, they are uh, coming to camping clubs to be part of this big family. It is true that we live in a world that the persons, they love to be more individual. But uh, together, we can make a big difference. So I think that there is a change in the behavior. And I believe that more and more campers will join camping clubs and refound all the camping clubs that we know in our day. Then finally, um, what is it like to be uh, the president of a federation such as uh, FICC? where I'm sure you get to see all these different countries, cultures and people. 
Well, that is a big truth, because uh, be a president of the FICC, besides it's a pleasure, it's also a big responsibility. We have members in 39 countries, and there are more countries coming to our big family. Uh, and we represent so many camping, uh, camping clubs, but also campers all over the world. And from one country to the other, doing camping, in the end, is just stay in the nature and enjoy the good friendship. But it's different from country to country. So that is really the big challenge, uh, is to put all these people together in enjoying camping. Uh, enjoying camping. Doing camping in the north part of Europe or the south, it's complete, it's different. But in the end, it's really good friendship and I think that all together we can make a very good job and promote our good hobby and uh, camping and uh, nature, uh, tourism in the nature. Mr. Pereira, thank you for the interview and enjoy the rest of your stay here in Finland. Thank you so much for this great opportunity and uh, I say to everybody that if you never visit Finland, come because you're going to have very good surprises and above all you also can meet Santa Claus. <laughs> Thank you.